Hi everyone, this is Miriam, welcoming you back. This is going to be the last of our series in 2016. And with that, I'm going to talk about something that I think wraps up the year pretty well. We're going to talk about the fire element. Yes, the fire element. Fire has symbolized so many things for us over the years, in particular our spiritual connection to the spirit, our connection to the spirit rather. And this is a fitting topic for today because it gives us a chance to review what has taken place over the past year and also to plan for something that we want to accomplish for the new year to come. So the fire element, the spirit of fire, is the same as that inner fire within, the kundalini energy, if you will, the chi, call it what you want, but it's that inner flame that gets us to do things, to connect to things. And it's also a renewal energy. So when we connect to that fire is when we get things done. Now, I'm going to ask you to, over the next week before the New Year's, to review what you've been doing over the year. And to, this would be probably best if you do this before you go to bed every night because it's a meditative process that allows you to connect to that spirit of fire and to review what's been going on. So after that, you can just go to sleep. But if you'd rather do it another time in during the day, that's fine too. There is no right or wrong with this. But you want to kind of go over all the things that has taken place over the year for you. Don't get locked into it. Just observe it. It's as if you're watching a movie. Let it just go through the screen inside your head, if you will. And don't judge it. Don't get locked into it. Just review it. It's a review. So let this happen and see if there was something that you would wish to change you know, a habit you might want to break. Anytime we make a little change in a routine, it kickstarts an energetic field, an energetic vibration. So things happen and we connect. And on the other hand, the fire spirit is also the spirit, the energy that also can renew as we mentioned earlier and you can do away with things that you no longer wish to continue with you can even do a ceremonial um, ritual that would physically help you get rid of certain things i actually kind of like um, doing this every once in a while because it's not only symbolic it's also physical and it just physically changes the energy you can get um you know, write down on a piece of paper or representation that you might have of something that you wish to um, get rid of or no longer continue with. Um, and then uh, get like a metal bucket or something, go outside someplace safe that you can have a little fire ceremony and you actually burn that. So this way, as you're doing that, you're letting go of old habits, of old routines, of anything that no longer serves you and then you can begin again. So it helps to do that as well. One really helpful thing is, it's actually beautiful in my opinion, a meditation that when you, before you go to bed, you picture yourself as though you're a phoenix or a firebird, you know, and Feel yourself being inside the fire, stepping into the fire. Imagine yourself feeling what it 
what it's like to have the flames around you to be warm like that and then to be renewed what is it that you wish to do for next year for the next shift of energy whatever you want to call it let's just call it the new year because this is the end of 2016 so um we'll call it for the new year but and I'm not talking about oh I want to lose weight or I want to like try this diet or you know I'm gonna run 15 miles every day no I'm not talking about those kinds of things those are your personal you know um, physical goals if that helps you to set something up for yourself you can however I have found when it's very specific and um, rather difficult to adhere to it makes it more challenging to actually sustain it so you know you can say something like I intend to be more fit next year so that way you can tweak it the way that serves you better so you get the point however I'm talking about aspirational things um, accomplishments perhaps project wise work wise personal wise these are the things that you can set for yourself and picture yourself doing that so the spirit of fire is our connection to the spirit. Remember, we are spiritual beings having a physical experience, not the other way around. So we are connected to something bigger than us. However, we are of that bigger something ourselves. And we can always connect. So try this meditation now. Try you know going within before you go to bed um, for the next week at least I'm not gonna ask you to do it for the rest of the year because you probably won't but um, just try it for the next week until the New Year's and every night just review things add your own twist to it you know make it as imaginative as you can it's yours you can go as wild as you like <laughs> but Give yourself a chance to feel that renewal, to feel that energy rising within you. Let your spirits, the connection, guide you and talk to you and show you. It will do that. With that being said, happy holidays. I wish you a very safe holiday period and a wonderful new beginning. I will see you next year. Namaste.